Hi, I'm Frances Proctor, otherwise known as Angel Eyes Online. Today I am going to answer a question posed in the Talk Graphics Forum asking about making a 3D book. And you can see here in front of me I've got this one already set up to show you what it's going to look like when I'm done. And there's three parts to it. We've got the cover which has been molded to the book. We've got the book itself which you can see there's different parts of that and we've got the shadow. So I'm just going to go undo here, put it all back together. Now that you've seen me pull it apart, we're just going to marquee select the whole thing and I'm going to pull this off to the side. Now I'm going to show you how I did that. So let's start with a plain rectangle and now I'm going to well, let's just make this rectangle a little bit thinner that looks good okay so now before I start editing this rectangle I am going to turn it into an editable shape so I'm just going to quickly go down here arrive arrange convert to editable shapes there is a keyboard shortcut shift control s which does the same thing now that this is an editable shape I can edit it with the shape the shape tool or the shape editor so I'm just gonna pull this out like this and just give it kind of a rounded edge so our book has got a rounded edge I can maybe nest with it just a little bit. All right, I'm just going to quickly do this. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pull this one in just a bit. We're going to give our book page just kind of a rounded edge like this. All right, I'm just going to leave this at this just for now. You could get fancier too and put an indent in the cover where the page is, where it opens up. There's a lot more you can do. But for this video, I'm just going to simply stop at this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the keyboard shortcut Control K to clone it. And now you can see I've got two of them. This top one I'm going to make white. <coughs> and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select the contour tool. And we're going to use a feature of the contour tools, which is right here. It's called inset path. So when I click this and depress this, what happens is instead of drawing contours either around the object or into the object, it actually changes the size of your shape. So I'm just going to pull this down. To about like that. Now what I'm going to do is to take and right click and drag and I'm going to set aside a copy. Let's click on this one down here and I'm just going to drag it out so that it's protruding now. If I zoom in, it's protruding now whoops, over the edge of the black shape, which is what we want. So let's go like this and I'm going to hit control three, whoops, control two rather, which subtracts the shapes. Now, as you can see, we have our book cover here. Well, it's going to be our book cover. Now let's bring back this white shape and I'm just going to stick it back in there. It doesn't need to be exactly lined up, but we'll just quickly do that. Now the fun is going to begin. I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to go down here and we're going to select our 3D tool. And I'm going to, as you can see, I've already, I've extruding it here. And I'm just going to pull it out. Let's just pull this down, maybe I'll play around with it a bit more. Now 
Let's go up here. Angle one. Angle two. Angle three. Move this around in 3D space until I get what I'm looking for. This is pretty close to what we're looking for. Maybe we can just go like this. Straighten it up. All right. And this is going to do with what I'm looking for. Now, now you'll notice we've got our two extrusions. I've got them pretty much where I want them. But you'll notice that the pages are basically just sitting on top of the cover. And that's not really what we want. Unless our cover is a little long. So let's... I'm just going to adjust the size of the pages. Just a little bit here. Alright. Now this isn't what we want. But the way Zara does their extrusions, this is what happens. Your extrusions are layered one on top of the other. We can't have the pages actually inside the extruded cover but we're going to make it appear that they're inside there. So let's go and I'm going to hold down the Alt key and I'm going to select and you will see down here this is turned black. We've got the bottom extrusion selected and I'm going to go Control K to clone it. Now we've got a copy of the bottom extrusion, the book cover, on top of the pages and one beneath the pages. And we're going to get out our handy eraser tool. Now I'm going to hold down the Alt key. This will constrain my eraser in a straight line. And I'm going to just zoom out. All right, this is going to constrain the eraser in a straight line. Hold down Alt, and I'm just going to... Whoop, what's going on here? Oh, we need to make sure we have the right thing selected. The extrusion on the top has to be selected. Alt, and look at that. Our pages are now appearing to be... showing and you can zoom in and you can see now it appears the pages are showing and are inside the now it appears that the pages are inside the book cover pretty nifty huh <laughs> it is important to make sure that you have your extrusion where you want it in 3D space before you start doing this because this creates an opacity mask and you'll see if I select these extrusions now and start trying to rotate them in 3D space you'll see that even though the extrusions rotate the opacity mask doesn't. It would be nice if there was some way you could group the opacity mask so it moved in 3D space with the extrusion, but Zara doesn't have that capability. So let's undo that and put this back. All right. So now that's basically it for creating the book. And to put the cover on the book, basically all I did was to First, I'm going to go and I'm going to expand the uh, galleries here and I'm going to expand this layer and you can see everything I've got on here. So in, inside my opacity mask, there's one extrusion there. I'm going to hold down control and select the other extrusion here. These are the two book covers extrusions. I'm just going to take my color picker and pick a color from the book cover that I designed earlier and I'm going to 
Now bring this over here. Let's bring it to the front. Control F. Line that up like that. Now I'm going to get my mold tool. And we're going to give it a right perspective. And I'm just going to simply very quickly here. I'm not going to do the most bang up accurate job on this, but you get the idea. And there it is. And there's our book. Pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty easy. Thanks for watching.